Every now and again, especially when you're an experimentalist, you'll come across a really good idea, a eureka moment. You suddenly see a new world opening up that nobody's ever thought of before, and that happens very infrequently, but when it does happen, it's amazing. My work has involved bubbles, particles, and liquids for the past 60 years, and the result of all this academic research has been uh, a device known as the Jameson cell, which is used in mineral flotation. The biggest difference that I've made to Australian industry lies in the recovery of fine coal that otherwise would have gone to waste, and it has been worth about $36 billion so far to the country, and there's more to come. The flotation process involves the following steps. You find an ore, you grind it down very fine in water, you liberate the valuable particles that you want to recover. You add a chemical which makes those valuable particles water repellent. Then you add bubbles. The bubbles stick to the water repellent particles, carries them to the top in a froth. The froth flows out of the vessel carrying all the valuable particles. The rest is left behind in the liquid. The Jameson cell is now very well established uh, in the minerals industry. But the other challenge relates to the other end of the size spectrum, very coarse particles. The problem with fine particles in, in mining is that if you have to grind enormous amounts of rock down to the size of a human hair, it takes a great deal of energy. And that is the biggest operating cost of a, of a concentrator. And that's what I've been working on lately. We've discovered a new technique of flotation and it's led to the development of a machine called a Nova cell. The impact it potentially has is enormous. We think we can reduce the running cost of a concentrator by about a half. You act as a mentor to people. You act as an example to people. And one of the biggest satisfactions here has been the way in which my colleagues have seen what I've done and now gone off in their own way doing wonderful things, in my view, for the industry and for Australia.